Good morning, good morning, good morning, guys. We are here at the Seven Day Addiction Shop in Edinburgh, Texas. For those of y'all that do not know, I'm gonna put the address, address for you guys right here. This is my wireless mics. For those of y'all that are wondering, check out these new shirts, man. Gonna walk inside. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna to try to hit up at least two shops today. Now I'm gonna to talk to Mr. Fabian and Mr. Roy or whoever's working at the R&R Tackle Shop. I'm gonna be giving you guys a top three wade fishing essential items. For those of y'all that are just starting off that do not know, uh, you can come to these local shops. I would recommend uh, shopping local. And uh, you come over here with Baby and talk to him and he can give you some pointers, man. So let's walk inside. I'm gonna give you guys a, a quick tour of the shop. Let's check it out. All right, guys, so we're here at uh, Seven Day Addiction Media. My name's Fabian. I am the owner of Seven Day Addiction uh, Media. Now, one thing we're gonna talk about, well, the thing we're gonna talk about today is going to be the essentials or the the must-haves, you know, for the starting weight fisherman. And again, you know, you know, obviously I've been fishing for, for many, many years, but the weight fishing to me is, is somewhat new. You know, I've been doing it for about maybe 10, 15 years, but still, you know, to me, that's still new. Um, some of the main things you need, obviously, if you're gonna be out fishing, you're gonna need a rod and reel, you know? depending on what you're going to be doing whether it's going to be bait fishing whether it's going to be you know popping cork or whatever then kind of go towards that route you know if you're going to go towards a, a popping cork go with a stiffer rod if you're going to go with uh, lures go with a more sensitive rod and so forth so obviously a rod and reel is going to be uh, essential and obviously based on your budget is where in the direction that you'll go um, aside from the obvious of a rod and reel one of the biggest things that I, I really, it's a must have, is going to be a good wade box. You know, this particular wade box is, is pretty simple. You know, it's your, your simple power cord lanyard. The, one of the most important things is kind of make sure that it's waterproof. You know, a little bit of water and get in, but just make sure it is, it does have some type of, of, of barrier or some type of gasket that does make it waterproof. This particular one that we have here at the shop has this particular gasket here and it is very good. It is waterproof. Now if you submerge it and keep it under, you know, it, it may get some water in there, but for the most part, um, it's, it's gonna stay pretty dry. You know, that takes care of your hooks and all that different stuff that you have. Um, after that, I would go with one of two things, your fish grips or your pliers, okay? Now, fish grips is again, you know, for that beginner fisherman, whether you wanna go with a net or with a grip, depending on you, you know, this is something where you can handle your fish once you've caught it. And once you've landed it, you can keep it on the fish grip. And from there, you can go ahead and work with the fish, whether it be removing the hook, stringing it up or whatever. But you have that control of that fish with the grip. Now that's what the, the second option. The third option would be your good set of pliers. Now the unfortunate part, obviously with the pliers, you're not gonna be able to handle the fish, but with this particular or any particular pliers, you're gonna be able to use this to kind of remove the fish. Now, one of the biggest things that we, you know, harp on as anglers is conservation. So, you know, the less harm on a fish, the better. So with a good set of pliers, good grip on the hook, you can safely remove um, that particular hook, you know, once you actually snag that fish. But these to me would probably be the products that you would need as a beginner uh, fisherman. Guys, one of the biggest things that I get people coming in here telling me is like, oh, I need this, I need that. You know, my friend has all these different things. Guys, that comes with years and years of fishing. You don't have to go out and spend thousands of dollars at one time. You know, get your essentials, the next trip around, get a little bit more, and by the time you know it, your collection will be huge, and you'll have everything you need within a few months, depending on how addicted you really are. But again, guys, that's uh, what we feel are the essential for the beginner weight fisherman, and this brought to you by Seven Day Addiction. Yeah, so thank you, Mr. Fabian, for, for giving that info, man. It's pretty uh, pretty cool getting someone else's perspective, especially him, man. He's been fishing for, for a while now. So I'm going to go over to the R&R &R Tackle Shop, talk to them over there, get their feedback on the same, uh, on the same topic, and uh, I'll give you guys my top three weight fishing accessories at the end of this video. So let's go over to the R&R to the &R Tackle Shop, man. Let's go. All right, guys, just made it, r, &R Tackle Shop. For those of y'all that do not know, I'm gonna leave the address right here. I'm gonna walk in there, take some uh, some new hats, man. I'm gonna show you guys what I just dropped off. Pretty excited about these. Pretty excited about these. That motorcycle passed by pretty loud, so hopefully you guys still heard me, but I'm gonna walk in there, give you guys a quick little tour of the shop and uh, talk, to, uh, talk to them, see what they recommend for weight fishing. Oh, don't drop it now. Don't drop it now. What's up, bro? What's going on, y'all? This is uh, Adrian from R&R. &R. 
Uh, of course, you need a rod and reel to start off. We got pretty much everything here. We got lower end reels, lower end uh, rods as well. Um, especially for weighting, we got pretty much everything you need here. We got spinning reels. Uh, we got from price range, we got from about, about 30 bucks to like, you can get expensive, 400 bucks. It's the same thing with the rods. We have our lower, lower ends, like 25 bucks, all the way to pretty much 450 with Sarge rods. And uh, the top three things for waiting, I mean, you need some good pair of boots. A good pair of boots, we have Bards here. We got the Forever Last if you're just starting off. We also got um, waiting belts. Waiting belts and a, uh, a net would be really perfect for, for waiting as well. Yeah, any net, we got, uh, we got the Forever Last here, the, the girls. Right now we don't have the other ones, we, we sold on those, but we also got these. They're not too bad on price either. They're the Coastal Fishing Gear. We got those for, I believe, $24.99. Yeah, and that's not a bad waiting net at all. A stringer also would be recommended. Well, cool, man. I appreciate you taking the time to talk to me. Yeah. Wade fishing boots, stringers. Stringers, a belt, that'd be perfect for you. Or even a wading bag would be good, or wading a sling, pretty much. And you can come over here and get all the, the lures you want, man. There's, look at this big old wall right here. Look at that. Yeah, you can't. Kelly Wigglers, 3JG, got some Norton's old school, and you guys know that I used those on the last video. RGV lures, JRZ lures, AM fishing lures. Also apparel, man. If you guys are gonna be fishing down here in South Texas or even up north, these long sleeves really help, help protect you from the sun, man. I got out, Outdoor Addicts, Laguna Custom, Prime Gancho. Oh, of course, you got Stoic Apparel over here, Stoic Outdoors. Boom. Apollo Rods, Real Sportswear. They got options is what I'm trying to say, man. Especially for uh, for Christmas time. Oh, they got the True Dove Outdoors. These are these are these are nice. Cool, man. Also, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave these. Got your seven foot medium light bait caster and your spinning reel. You wanna hold these real quick, brother? They're gonna show the camera. I like it because it's got that old school cork grip, man. It's super sensitive. I like throwing these because if you're gonna be throwing lures all day, all day, you want to be comfortable, man. Yeah, that's your spinning right there. Appreciate it, man. And these are running at what, 225? Yeah, they're gonna be uh, 225. Maybe we'll do a Black Friday special or something like that. So quick recap, guys. You're gonna need a rod and reel, of course, number one. Number two, I would recommend get some to get some good uh, wading boots. You wanna make sure your feet are protected when you're walking around. And number three, I would recommend getting a wading net. So thank you guys for watching this video. As always, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.